Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and I'll say the rhyme. What's gonna happen today on Showtime? Welcome to today's Showtime. Have you had a really good day today? Well, it's about to get even better when we take part in lots of fun. Now, do you have a favourite Showtime? Is it explore? Is it create? Is it move? Or is it game time? Or maybe you just love them all. Well, let's go spin the wheel and find out where we're heading today. Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and all say the rhyme. What's going to happen today on Showtime? Create time! Create time! We're here on the west coast of Scotland in Troon and I thought for today's Create Time we would head to the beach. If you look over the ocean, you can see the island of Arran. You never know what you're going to find washed up on the beach by the sea. There's rubbish, there's sticks, there's seaweed, shells and stones. Even, look what was on the beach today. An old TV. I wonder if they've got showtime. But I've brought my tub and I'm going to go and collect lots of pretty things that I can find on the beach. Oh, I like this shell. Some orange stones, some red stones. Oh, big, big crab shell. That will work. Some twigs and some seaweed. So my tub is full. It's now time to head back to the studio for create time. So we've been at the beach and have a look at all these wonderful things that I've found at the beach. I've got colourful shells, I've got driftwood, I've got smelly seaweed, it does stink, and I've got a big tub of sand. Now we're going to make something. So how about making something really nice to give to your mum or your gran, something to put in your bathroom to remind you just how much fun you had that day at the beach. Have a look at these. These are my seaside jam jars. So many exciting things inside them. This one even has water inside it and glitter. Nice and sparkly. Now these are really, really simple to make. So let's get creative and make our seaside jam jars. All you need is a jam jar, all your things you found at the beach, some material. I've chosen some nice seaside material with anchors on it. Also some glitter and some glue. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take your jam jar and I'm going to put four, four big spoons of sand, one, into my jam jar, two, three, oh there's still some shells in this, four. I'm going to pat it all down. I'm going to use a bit of my driftwood to pat it down. Squeeze it into the jar. And now it's time to decide what we would like to put inside. I'm going to choose my favourite shells, some of my mussel shells, and just place them in and push them down. How about some seaweed as well? Seaweed, big yellow stone, that looks nice. Big yellow stone, some more shells, 
And I've got a really good idea what else we could do. If you take some of your shells, we're going to add some sparkles. We're going to add some sparkles. So take your glue and take your glitter. I've chosen some nice golden sand. The beaches in Scotland aren't always that colour, but we'll pretend that they are. So take some glue and your glitter. And then you're going to paint the glitter onto the shells. And when it dries, it will dry see-through, so you won't see the white glue. And add some sparkles to our seaside jam jars. There we go. And we're going to add those into my jam jar as well. Add the sparkles and the glitz and glam. Hmm, I think I need some more shells and pink. Stones and shells. Squash it all down. It's looking lovely. I love these. Just such a fun way of remembering that day you had at the beach. Now, once you've filled it up, I think that is pretty much full. I think I'm going to squeeze one more mussel shell in. Once it is full, you're going to take your material and I'm going to cut a nice big circle to make my lid. So lay your material down. Take some, I would say get some sellotape or masking tape and you're going to draw a big circle on the material like this. So draw around the masking tape to make your circle and then get an adult to help you and cut out the circle. So cut out the circle and you should have one that looks like this. Place the jam jar down, take your material, put it on top and now take an elastic band. I've chosen a blue elastic band to match my blue anchor on the top and stretch it over the top of the jar and there we have your seaside jam jar. The one that's got water in it, all I've done is filled the whole jam jar with as many different shells and stones and pebbles as I could. Put them all in, all in, and then you're gonna fill it with some water. So I've got some water, pour the water in. And then sprinkle some glitter in as well. Can you see, sprinkle the glitter in, it looks lovely. Really nice. So, there we have my seaside jam jars. Have fun making them at home. Seaside! So we've made our seaside jam jars. Now we're going to make a really pretty picture to hang on your bathroom wall. Another gift that you can give someone for Mother's Day or a birthday present. I've chosen my favourite shell that I found and I have made a frame all the way around it. So I'm going to show you what one of my other favourite shells, which is this one. I love the textures, the different shades of grey that you have on the, on the shell or a stone. So all you need is some cardboard, some really thick cardboard, some thin cereal packet cardboard and then I've got some card that's like a birthday card. So I'm going to take my birthday card and cut a square to make the frame and then cut that off like so. And that is going to be the frame that you're going to use. Put those to one side. You've got the frame. Take your cardboard and your material, my beach material, and place it down. Take your cardboard and place that on top of the material. Now, as you can see, I've cut the corners out of the material, so, so it makes it easier to fold it over. Now, you need your glue. I've got my glue, my PVA glue, and I'm going to glue the cardboard all the way around the edges. So the material is going to stick and be nice and secure all the way around your photo frame. Use lots and lots of glue to make it nice and strong. There we go. And then you're going to fold the sides over, fold the sides over and hold it down in place. So stick it down, hold it down, you can even switch over to the other side and push it down. Both hands, push it down. And there you have your frame. Now, we're gonna put our birthday card frame on the top, but 
I think it would be nice if we made the frame stand up a little bit more. So, I've got my really strong cardboard, a thick cardboard, and cut out some many, many cardboards, and we are gonna stick these down as well. So take your glue again, take your glue, and put it on the edge, like so, and then take your cardboard and push it down. Take your glue, put it on the edge. Can you see what we're doing here? Can you see that the frame is gonna rise up a little bit? So one more, and then put the cardboard on each of the sides. Then we're gonna take our frame and stick this on as well. So some more glue, you need lots of glue for this. Create time, don't you? You're gonna get nice sticky fingers by the end. My fingers are already getting really sticky. So some glue on the top. Take your frame and place it down. Can you see that we've made the frame stick out? Now you might need to leave that a few minutes just to dry so it doesn't fall off. And now we're going to take some ribbon and cut some ribbon. Cut some ribbon off. And this is going to be your hanger. So I'm going to turn it over and then take my glue and put some more glue. I told you we need lots and lots of glue for this create time. And push it down like that. And that's going to be the hanger so it can hang up in your bathroom. And then turn it over again. Now we're going to take our shell. And this time you might need stronger glue, so I'm going to take some super glue and I'm going to put some super glue on the shell. It needs to be nice and strong so it doesn't fall off the wall. I'll take my super glue and I'm going to push it down in the centre. And again, you're going to have to press really, really hard because otherwise it's going to fall. It might fall into the bath while you're having a bath. And I've also made a nice little bowl with the ribbon as well, and I'm going to put that in the corner to finish off our frame. Stick that down, and there you have your really pretty photo frame. Now, I'm not going to hold this up because it's drying. Leave it to dry for a couple of hours, make it nice and strong. But there we have our really pretty photo frames and our seaside jam jars. Do you know what? I think I might go and find one of my friends to give both these two as a really special present. So we're here at my friend Gillian's house and we're going to give her these seaside gifts as a present. Let's hope she likes them. Oh hi Shauna. Hi Gillian. Hi. So I brought you a present. Oh they're lovely. So thank we went you. to the beach and collected lots of things from the beach. I made these for you. Oh they're so lovely. Thank you. They'll go perfect to my new bathroom. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Oh, that was lovely. Did you hear that? We know what that means. Time is up. We have to go. I hope you had fun and enjoyed the show. See you next time to say the rhyme and spin again for more show time. Bye.